Welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of Valpo Football Weekly, brought to you by Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute. Brandon Vickery with you. I'm glad to be joined by the head coach of the Valpo Football Program, Landon Fox. And normally we take a look back at the last game, but this past week, a bye week, so a little bit different. But let's still take a look back at the past week. Maybe what did your program accomplish in practice this week? What did you work on? And what was it like to have a week to maybe focus on yourselves as opposed to an opponent? Yeah, that's hey, Brandon. That's what I was just going to say. When you look back, you look back at saying, hey, here's what um, we had to do for in order for us to be successful. And so it's more about us than it is an opponent. And really, that's need, what it needs to be every week. But that was the main focus. Hey, you know, here's what we've done well. Let's keep doing it. Here's what we haven't done well. And let's let's look at that. And how, what ways can we better be better? That could be schematically. That could be personnel based, uh, but continuing to um, evolve, you know, in terms of just putting our best, you know, um, players out there, but schematically um, the best that we can be as well. So it, to me, it's just it, it, an overarching, hey, let's look at the program. How can we make it better? And then, you know, and then obviously I think too, is to give the day, guys a few days off um, to recharge their battery and, and you know, have the, the home stretch of your, of your last six games. And um, this, you know, obviously Presbyterian game being the most important. How about you as a coaching staff? I know it's intense during the season, kind of from start to finish. Did you get a chance to maybe get a day or an evening off this week? And uh, what do you do when you have a little chance to come up for air and uh, do something outside of football? We did. We did get a little a little time off over the weekend when we we had the guys um, when we gave the guys off. But I tell you what, all you do is think about what you're supposed, what you should be doing, and so. <laughs> You know, Saturday when you, you did have an off day, you're, you're watching a Presbyterian game on ESPN three or whatever the heck it was, and so you're you're, you're still working even though you're, you're supposed to be off, and um, your mind never goes away, and so you're you're always you're always thinking, hey, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? What do you need to do? And so um, it was nice, you know, to, to to get away from it for a little bit, but at the same time, your your thought process is always, you know, on that next opponent. One thing that's been great this fall for Valpo Athletics and looking back at the month of September is the success across the board. A big win for your program to start conference play, but also the way soccer and volleyball and tennis and golf have, have competed. I know often we'll see your team out there at a volleyball match or out there at a soccer game. What's it been like to be a part of a successful start to the fall season for Valpo Athletics as a whole? Yeah, we, I mean, we always talk about in terms of our team about being part of something bigger than yourself, and so being part of the football team. But I think you have to use that. You want to use that same approach for the athletic department. This is more than football, and so to be supportive of all the athletic teams, all the student athletes, to me, um, that's what it's about. You know, and it's it's about having pride again on that name, that, that name in the front of your chest, about being part of Valpo, and, and not only the football, but within the athletic department. So that's what gets you excited to see. Um, those other teams have success and you understand our student athletes understand how much time and effort those student athletes are putting into it to so to go support them and see them have success um, to me is, is very exciting. I'm sure for a, lot, or a number of your players traveling this week, it might be the first time in the state of South Carolina. One thing that is unique about the PFL is the coast to coast travel. How big in that is that in recruiting and how big is it to make it about an experience that goes beyond football? Yeah, you know, Brandon, that, that's something that's always been exciting to me. I've been in, in the Pioneer Football League for 15 years, and um, when I had the opportunity to be named the head coach here, that was something that we were going to do that hadn't been that I hadn't experienced. And so, when you go to places and travel, you're you're going um, to all parts of the country. So, to, on the itinerary for um, Presbyterian, we fly in um, to Charlotte. We're going to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and to me, that's something the guys will will never forget. And so, those those experiences that they have. Um, to me, leads to, to a, a great experience, but also continuing to build those relationships. And that, and that to me, that's what it's about. And I'll carry over to, to the field. Um, but at the same time, we'll be challenged. You know, most of the places I know exactly where to go, where the locker rooms are, where the field is. And this is our first time, my first time um, and, and our first time traveling down to Presbyterian. So um, we'll get there on Friday and, and, and go down and, and practice and see the facilities and what that all looks like. So a um, lot of pluses and and. and opportunity to, to see and do different things, but at the same time challenges in terms of just, hey, this is the first time uh, to Presbyterian. And let's talk about the football game. It's a team that has a new head coach and obviously a much different system from what you saw a year ago. What do you expect from the Blue Hose on Saturday? 
Yeah, you can. I mean, this one, you can, it's easy to see. You watch on film, and, and they do an outstanding job. You can tell the players believe in the schematics. You, you, you know, they you, you can see a team that plays very hard. They they understand what they want to, how they want to attack you, both offensively, defensively, and even and in in, in in the kicking game as well. And so it's very evident. We've been able to show our players on film. Hey, here's what they're doing. Here's how they're doing it, and this is why. And when you you see those things, and it's very easy to see um, schematically and how they're being coached. It allows your players to say, okay, yeah, they, they know what they're doing. And so just a, a lot of belief in, in what the, what they're doing out on the field. So, I mean, it'll be challenging. It may be challenging for us it, it, every, every week is going to be challenging. Um, but obviously this one uh, is the most challenging because it's the, it's the game, the game that we're playing on Saturday. There is the head coach of the Valpo football program, Landon Fox. Again, Valpo at Presbyterian on Saturday. You can follow along and watch from home on ESPN+. Plus. We'll talk to you again next week on Valpo Football Weekly.